uh, these First Nation lands. Uh, you can see uh, as we record, we're looking at how basically the overpass is right above it, which is causing a lot of noise pollution to the area. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of refinery. Uh, there's a liquor store nearby. And yeah, uh, this area makes a lot of noise. And I bet the residents aren't too fond of it. We can see how the pollution in the old mill is kind of affecting the area. You can see that the, the plants nearby and the shrubbery, they kind of look... Uh, they're not growing as well. The water is very dirty and murky. Uh, nearby, you can see driftwood. You can see old parts in the water. Not necessarily too safe. Uh, a lot of probably the fish habitat in that area probably can't really survive. You can see that the lumber mill nearby, the, the, the lumber in itself isn't stored properly. Yeah, the whole entire area looks pretty dilapidated because of industry and much of it looks polluted we're seeing more driftwood uh, and yeah like you have leftover chains uh, you have water looking very murky and dirty uh, from a lack of not putting away uh, equipment properly a lot of this equipment is just rusting causing more issues for the water yeah, it's not looking really too good in that area. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but there's actually oil on the top of the surface of the water. Just a little bit, like it's pretty sh it's slick, it's not clean water, it's not being filtered because of all the logs blocking it. So all these logs blocking it are causing all this water here to become completely stagnated, covered in, you can see like there's some, I don't know if you can see there, but some gasoline there, some oil, all because of this pulp mill, or this wood uh, making plant, it's just not allowing the water to circulate and it's completely polluted. So we see basically an overview of uh, what's going on here. And yeah, it's it's a very, look, the, the scenery in that area looks pretty bad. Uh, a lot of uh, the nature in that area has lost its luster. Uh, just objectively, you can see how this area, it's not even, it just, it's just lost all effect of nature because of the paper, uh, paper pulp mill nearby. And you can see like, Again, the, the local bushes and plants, like uh, the bushes and plants nearby are really like dilapidated because of the pollution caused by the nearby mill. And I don't see how residents really be able to enjoy the area whatsoever. I, I imagine that uh, the breathing conditions are probably not that great as well nearby. Yeah, like I said, I'll just use a different camera filter here. Um, like I said, because of the logs here, they've blocked all the water that's behind me. So all of this water is completely polluted. 
there's like a slick, uh, slick layer of gasoline oil on the surface of this water that can't go anywhere and it takes up a lot of this land but like, as you can see like over here it's completely like the water's stuck it's not going anywhere and it's polluted it's clearly polluted completely polluted because of these logs right here and all this pollution is all stuck because of these logs water can knock it out as you can see there's some ducks swimming in all this grease this oil this gasoline and all these pollutants We see a sign uh, that talks about the oral histories of fishing practices and the uh, cultural connection these people have with fishing that dates back to 8,500 uh, years ago. And we can just see graffiti all over the sign. Uh, it just almost is a representation of the lack of respect. Uh, these uh, people who uh, walk by and the corporation has over these people that kind of use their land for profit. Again, we see more graffiti uh, on another sign that ironically talks about our having a relationship with environment and uh, respecting and honoring that environment. And again, we just see the corp like the corporation and people nearby who in are in this area just disrespect uh, this environment and this local space that wasn't that isn't their land. That was basically uh, the people's the indigenous people's land who have lived there far before they have. Just listen to all the noise. You see uh, a sign with the First Nation partners in, in the top middle is the Kwantlen First Nation named after our university, and it's the only sign that doesn't have graffiti on it, so all the other ones have graffiti on it, so it's only a matter of time, probably.